guys we're down here at the Royal Gardens I don't know if you can hear it in the uh, camera I doubt it you can hear all the bats in the trees about that time there this is the equivalent in bat language I think of them hitting their snooze button they make a lot of noise they start rousing each other to wake up once it hits, right before dusk, they're going to all come flying out of the trees, hundreds of them. <clears throat> and it's a pretty awesome sight. I never seem to get down here during the time I want to capture that. But they are squeaking and squawking, making their little bad noises. As you can probably tell, there's probably some wind noise, I'm assuming, because the wind is blowing uh, pretty good here. But it feels good, so I'm not going to complain about the noise. Thanks for a nice walk. And down here, you can see on the, on the pavement, if you can see all those little marks, that is bat poop. <laughs> and it's dried up the old bat guana. So, uh, this is the main spot right here. A long time ago, I did put uh, a, a video of the bats flying around. It was at night, and uh, as you all know, my main complaint about the camera is that it doesn't do well at night. It's dark, it's grainy, but you can make them out. You can see them pretty good. It was quite a sight. I like it. I want to thank everybody who's donated so far this month. If you don't know, my goal is $350. We did hit some of that already with the donations that have already come in. But I hope we can uh, make it happen and get to that amount. That would be awesome. There are links down below to my PayPal. Buymeacoffee.com slash DDC. And if you donate through any of those, I'll send you copies of my books. A thank you email, and you'll be put on a list to receive all my exclusive videos and uh, other stuff. As a way of me saying thank you. So, thank you. Speaking of which, I am updating my exclusive videos. It's difficult sometimes to get out and make walk and talk exclusive videos along with my regular walk and talk videos because there's no Wi-Fi where we're living now so we have to upload through uh, through uh, using data on the phone and those videos take up a lot of data usually about 800 megabytes up to a gig maybe a little more sometimes depending on the length so we're constantly buying cell cards trying to keep up so, I have decided uh, <clears throat> that once a week on Sunday, starting tomorrow, so be looking for it in your email, starting tomorrow I will be making a short, like five to seven minute shorter videos once a week exclusively for my supporters, those who have donated. And those will be covering topics that might not make it into a regular video news stories, things that are happening here in Siem Reap that might not, or uh, in Cambodia, I mean, that might not be interesting to a large majority of my viewers. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so it's a way for me to give you all the news, all the events, everything, that uh, all the little things that's happening that sometimes I forget about, or like I said, won't put in a regular public video. I would also, also talk about some other things uh, having to do with, uh, you know, other things. 
I'll keep you up to date on all the things I like, all the nerdy, geeky things I'm into. I'll let you know how all those are going. So again, I'm gonna going to begin that tomorrow and every Sunday. You can expect another exclusive video. I might even make it twice a week, and sometimes, of course, I'll still occasionally add a walk and talk exclusive for you guys. Because I know most people like to see me out walking around and looking at the sights the way that I get to see them. Anyway, I appreciate you all. Thank you to all my supporters. It means a lot. Cambodia has had some uh, good news. Good news coming out of uh, old Cambo here. Uh, they are, they're almost at uh, 80% of the goal they put down to have people vaccinated. They set a goal, I believe it was 8 million people. And so far, almost 80% of that goal are has uh, been vaccinated and at least had one dose. So that's good news. And I think in correlating news over the last few days, they said they are cautiously optimistic because over the last few days, the number of new cases they detected have gone down each day. Can imagine that is very very good news indeed but they still caution that they're worried about the Delta variant that seems to be wreaking havoc all over the world uh, but they are also receiving already beginning to receive uh, big shipments of Western vaccines from different countries. Japan's already sent some. Britain's already sent some. They've already received part of the commitment from the United States. That first shipment has already arrived. And what they want to do before making them available for public distribution is to make sure after everybody has had at least two shots, you know, all the locals, they want to use those to give people a booster shot against the Delta variant has a higher efficacy rate so that makes sense and I believe I mentioned this in uh, maybe not my last video but the video before that they are really cracking down on the uh, rules and regulations they arrested a uh, restaurant owner or bar owner I forget which who was not following the proper protocol and uh, his establishment was open without any mask mandates social distancing or sanitizer temperature check anything like that so he's been arrested he'll probably get fined and get a good talking to and they are literally handing out fines, at least in Phnom Penh, uh, left and right for people breaking the restrictions, like not wearing a mask in public. Uh, people not, or people gathering in large groups without authorization. People gathering for the sole purpose of consuming alcohol, which is right now illegal. And there is some confusion about the mask mandate. Uh, do you need to wear it if you're outside just walking around? Even if you're not going to be talking to anybody, interacting with anybody, you're not enough distance away from anybody. And the answer is yes, you still have to wear a mask because it's a mask mandate. When you're outside, you have to wear a mask. That is the way the translation from the official 
uh, my website, the government website, that's what the translation says. They consider, they say you have to wear a mask anytime you're traveling, and they consider even walking around town as a form of travel. So, that might be a misinterpretation though, because sometimes translations uh, may not be accurate as the original. There's an alarm going off somewhere. Oh man. Is that the bank? Maybe somebody's robbing the bank. <laughs> Nobody seems to be concerned though. So maybe it's just a faulty uh, alarm too. It could be. Wow, that is annoying though. Yeah. But anyway, according to the translation I read, and the one that most people are going by, basically the bottom line is, if you're outside in any capacity, have a mask on. Now, of course, they don't have the capacity to be everywhere at the same time. Is there a good chance if you don't wear a mask, you're not going to get caught and not have to worry? Yes. But that's up to you as an individual to take that chance. But uh, just don't complain if you get caught. Had to fork over a little money. Maybe you spend some time getting yourself educated in their COVID education classes that they make people who break the rules take. Maybe even spend the night in the Huskow if uh, it's like midnight, one o'clock and <laughs> They have to process you. So that's up to you. I'm just telling you the rules that I've read from the translation I received. Hey, and there is a new delivery app in town. I know, you know, why do you need another delivery app? You have Food Panda, you have Tookout, you have Nam24. Uh, you have all these other apps. Well, this one is uh, has a couple things going for it that I think uh, make it a little better. The first one that is that uh, it's integrated right into the Wing financial mobile app. Now, Wing is uh, the most popular financial institution in Cambodia. People that don't have any bank accounts, they use it as a bank, even though it's not really a bank, but you can top up your ring account. Then you can do everything online just like you could with a bank. This has to be prepaid. You pay your bills, top off your cell card, or top off your phone, uh, order food, pay back loans, you know, do, do any of those things. And you can send and receive money from anywhere in Cambodia. And they have really low fees for doing those things. So it's a very, very popular uh, institution here. And there happens probably on my person's phone. <laughs> anywhere you go, I would think, if they have a phone. And there are wing offices literally everywhere. I mean, you can walk a block, maybe two at the most, and you'll find a wing agent. Uh, so what they've done, they've integrated their delivery service right into the app. So first of all, there's no extra app to download or anything like that. It's just an update to their existing app. It says Wing Mall. You click that button at the top. According to them, they already have like a thousand uh, businesses that are on board that you can order things through, like food and groceries and you know general merchandise, things like that. 
And that's another good thing too, because on most of the other apps, they offer food delivery. But there aren't too many shops. There aren't too many grocery stores or general merchandise stores for you just to get something delivered. You know, maybe some kind of health and beauty care, some soap, some shampoo, stuff like that. And the purpose of this app, they said, was to try to make it possible for you to order the things you want from the safety of your own home without having to go out and expose yourself to the virus. So it sounds like they have uh, more of a variety than some of the other apps. Like I said, you don't have to download a separate app, sign up for anything else. It works with your existing Wing account. And delivery is absolutely free. Free. That's the third thing. Now, if you go to things like Food Panda, if you're ordering food, some restaurants offer free delivery. Some will charge you 50 cents. You might find what you want, but uh, you have to pay a little delivery fee. Nothing drastic, but, you know, it is extra. But with Wing Mall, all that's a thing of the past. anything you order will be delivered to your home for free plus they are giving you wing points for ordering things through their app and those can be redeemed after a while whenever you get the, a certain amount for for different things I'm not sure what those things are but uh, there's a reward and loyalty uh, point system in place so yeah, if you're in Cambodia, if that's something that interests you. And you already have the Wing app, you should just be able to update it and it should be another clickable tab on the top of the app. If not, download, sign up, it's really easy. Just need your name and cell phone and stuff. You'll be good to go. ever get a chance to give it a try I will let you guys know how it all works out I can't say I'm really happy with Food Panda though uh, I received a virtual virtual prepaid online visa card for $25 and there's a whole story behind that, a very frustrating story for, for me. And I'll, I'll probably do that in one of my uh, exclusive videos or on my other channel, Laughing on the Inside. But uh, let's just say I finally got it, got it all settled, activated it. They gave me my number, my CVC, my expiration date, so I can use it anywhere online. There are some things I found out about shopping online in Cambodia and uh, places I wanted to shop at. Uh, don't take Visa cards or don't accept virtual cards for whatever reason. A lot of them don't even have websites to go to order. So I just said, ah, food fan, we can get some delivery a couple, three times, you know? And that works out pretty well. Before we left today, uh, Sang Lai had a little personal personal pizza, a uh, crab pizza. Kids had a personal size, uh, six slices. Uh, meat pizza, meat lovers, I guess you would call it. Had different kinds of meat on there. I had the burger set, which is a beef hamburger. Crinkle fries and a Coke. That was only three bucks. Good deal. But I knew the burger was going to be small, so I ordered two. <laughs> I learned that uh, the hard way one time. It's like, man, the burger was delicious, but I'm still a little hungry. A little bit smaller than like a Burger King or something, you know? So I ordered, I paid for it to. Uh, 
with my virtual Visa card, and it went through with no problem. As always with Food Panda, it's been my experience anyway. I've never had an issue with them. They give you an estimated time for how long the food's going to take to prepare. That's usually really accurate. Then they give you a time, and they let you know, like, oh, the driver's picked it up, he's on his way. Then they got the thing on the on the app or website where you can see his how far away he is from you, and it updates the estimated time of arrival as he's getting closer. So you can go out and wave him down, make sure he doesn't pass you by. I gotta say, man, it's pretty accurate. He was said five to ten minutes it was about six minutes later he showed up I do have to learn my lesson though that uh, the burger from this place it was a different this is a different place than the other one but it wasn't as small as that place it was kind of bigger you got a bunch more fries than you did at the other place so I think ordering two uh, I shoved it down my gullet, but uh, whew, I'm bursting. That's why we decided to go out now, get some exercise, walk this off. But you live and you learn. Good burger, too. Very good burger. Fries were excellent. Everybody liked the pizza. All right, well, that's going to do it for this one. Like I said, be sure to check out all my links down below. If you want to help support what we do here, PayPal, buymeacoffee.com, and my Patreon are all down below. And those will give you access to all my new exclusive videos coming up, copies of my books and everything else. Other channels vlogging from Cambodia, those are down below. My social media is down below and links to my books individually if you want to buy them that way. Either way, I appreciate it. We've arrived. Whew. I am tired. All right, I'll talk to you guys uh, in the next one.